Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I am Tuxedo Vale, and welcome to a let's play of What Would You Do If? It's not really a let's play. Uh, well, okay, so this is something that I was thinking about doing here in place of vlogs, and it wound up not happening. It was supposed to be Friday, but then it happened. And then for today's video, being Monday, I mean, I'm recording it Sunday, but. Uh, today's video was supposed to be something called Eleanor's Stairway, which by the way, I do recommend going to check out, checking out, it is a very beautiful game, but, uh, my recording software recorded my voice track with the game audio too, so, completely uneditable. Uh, could barely hear my voice over the game too, cause the game was loud! So, yeah, we're here with this instead. <laughs> but, uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. What would you do if you were constantly chased by the nearest bear unless you killed it with your bare hands? Wear a Siberian bear suit at all times. <laughs> what the fuck? I I try to live a normal life. <laughs> uh Yeah, the majority's with me. Woo! Oh, this is going to be boring. Maybe. Oh. Others do it. Like and I. Oh. Yeah, it's probably I don't even care. <laughs> I figured this way, I mean, instead of it being a vlog in just a more of an entertaining way, you guys might be able to learn a little bit about me, though. But this seems like it might not be that. What would you do if the Hulk, Iron Man, and Vladimir Putin tried to, <laughs> tried to kill you? <laughs> what? What the fuck did I do to piss them off, for one? <laughs> I mean, I I've got a few ideas of what could be about me that might piss Vladimir off, but... The Hulk and I- What are they doing even teaming up with Vladimir? What the fuck? Wait, I- But they're all trying- How can I ally with them if they're all trying to kill me? What? I don't want to ally with any of them. If I had to choose- I'd, I'd choose the Hulk. Iron Man? Fuck that. Like, he's cool in the movies and everything, but I know I would not be able to get along with that personality. I would not be able to sit in the same room with that personality. So no. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see. What would you do if you were given the opportunity to start your own nation? Legalize everything? Create a communist and capitalist society? Give the job to someone else? I wouldn't do any of those. I wouldn't, well, the cl the one I would most likely do is this, because that's a lot of fucking responsibility and I don't know that I'm the right man for the job. But I would at least give it my best effort and just try to be aware of, you know, when I'm not doing good enough. But, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. I, <sighs> you can't answer that! You can't! What would you do if everyone could read everyone's mind for a day? Find a duck and learn from it. Hide. <laughs> blast disturbing me- <laughs> Yep. I would blast disturbing mental images and crowds. <laughs> ah, that would not end well. What would you do if Megan Fox had a crush on you? I'd friend zone her. Yeah. No. I'd friend zone her. I don't know that I'd even want to do that, but. I, like, I have nothing against her, but I don't know. I don't know much about her to have anything against her, so if I should have anything against her, I don't know about it. So, uh. What would you do if spawned inside the ring with Mike T Tyson during a fight? You should have a you in here. What, what would you do if you spawned? Grammar, please. Thank you. I'm not that good at it either, though. Hashtag hypocrite. <laughs> Take the fight. Jump out and avoid taking the fight. Let him win by a knockout. I'd probably jump out and avoid taking the fight. <laughs> and 75% uh, of people agree with me. <laughs> you guys are smart. What if? What would you do if you could go 10 minutes back in time and talk to yourself for 30 seconds? Mess up time and space, why not? Yeah, 50% 50, 50, 50, 50, of people. Thank you. <laughs> What would you do if you got sent back to, in time to 1963 with nothing but a smartphone? Use it to further humankind. Self-serve and get rich. Take a selfie at the JFK- <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Ah, I feel like there's a card against humanity influence in here. 
I'd, I'd try to use it to further humankind somehow. I don't know. I'm all, I, I want to see mankind as a whole strive for greatness and not profit. I, that, that's something I firmly believe in trying to do. So, yeah. What would you do if y you had to kill either? That's not how this works. This is not would you rather. This is what would you do if, not would you rather. Stop it. I'm skipping you. <laughs> what would you do if you had to drink? No. <laughs> this is not would you rather. Knock it off. What would you do if you could get one animal superpower? Electro reception, echolocation, a prehensile tail. A prehensile tail. Come on. Come on. The things you could do, you could like multitask if you had a prehensile tail. Like you could like type on a keyboard and use your tail to drink coffee if it's long enough. Like who, who, who wouldn't want that? What would you do if you woke up as PewDiePie? Uh... <laughs> I... I am... I'm pretty sure I would do what he woke up in the morning if I woke up as PewDiePie. Because then I am not myself. So... I assume I would... Give Marzia a good morning kiss. And then I would record a YouTube video. I would find barrels, and I would go, BARRELS! Only I don't know quite. <laughs> My grammar skills. If only I... I... Only... I... I don't even know what I said. All I know is it was wrong. And not wrong in like a bad way, but wrong is in like a stupid way. God! Go with give mercy a good morning kiss. Blah. <laughs> that was that's kind of awkward for me actually. <laughs> what would you do if someone tried to share a urinal with you while you were using it? Um, I'm pretty sure I would not let that happen. I'm pretty sure I would just be like, excuse me, sir, you are making me very uncomfortable here. Go that way. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Look deeply into his eyes and ask why. Why are you trying to share a urinal with me? Why? Why? <laughs> Stop mid P and switch places. <laughs> Aim at his shoes. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You look like you could use a good watering. You're a plant, right? Potato? Couch potato? Same thing, right? <laughs> Look deeply into his eyes and ask why. Why not? I uh, hear this already an awkward situation. <laughs> what would you do if you had to live with a monkey that would become very aggressive unless you either... That's not a what would you do if. That's more of a would you rather. Why is that? What would you do if? Bush did 9-11. Have a speech and tell the American people. I do not want to get into this one, because that's very... Eh. What would you do if you had... No! Stop it! What would you do if one body part had to go... No! This is not a would you rather! See, you could get away with that if your answers were like, choose your tongue or something. Because then it's just like, okay, so what would you do if you had to get rid of a body part? Oh, I would choose to get rid of my tongue. That works. But no! Why are we back to this one? Why do you want to know if I want to have sex with a monkey or not? What the fuck? What would you do if you spawned 10,000 feet above the ground? Well, you're saying spawn, so I assume this is a video game. I mean, I suppose you could use spawn that way. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll work with you here. I would probably do one of these two. And depending on how long the fall felt like it was taking, I'd eventually get over it, realize there's nothing I can do about it, no amount of screen is going to help, and then I'd make the most of it. But I, I will probably start with this. That's like a sequence here for me. You guys answering that bottom one, you're liars. I know you are. Prove it. 
Prove that that's what you would do. Prove you would have, like, no fear reaction. Prove it. I dare you. <laughs> no, don't. Actually, don't. Don't go do that. Don't go do that. I better not be reading any news articles about people jumping from very high places just to prove that they would make an epic skydive because I challenge them. Do not go do that. Bad idea. Bad. No. Stop it. <laughs> what would you do if you had to have peanut butter somewhere on you at all times? <laughs> In my ass! What? Hey now, what kind of peanut butter are we talking about there? <laughs> I don't want it. I think I'd rather have it in my underpants than my... But no, that would feel so... I don't like any of those. Fuck it. You saw nothing. You do not know how I answered that one. No, I do not feel comfortable. I feel very awkward now. I feel violated. That question violated me. What would you do if you had to make something in your body explode? Eat until your stomach does? Lift weights until your muscles explode? Pop facial arteries with handstand push-ups? This is, like, the least damaging, because this will happen anyways. I'm gonna go with this, and then I'll finish working out and move on with my life. Yeah! I didn't even see what other people answered on that. What would you do if you had perfect drawing skills? Pitch an animated series to a TV network, author a graphic novel saga, or draw porn for yourself? Okay, here's a confession. I've tried this one. I can never finish the drawing. I can never finish it. I can never finish. <laughs> Any- <laughs> Okay, no, this is getting beyond PG. Stop! Right there, stop! In the name of love. No. Anyways, I'd probably pitch an animated series to a network. Honestly. 23% of people would draw porn for themselves. What the fucking hell? You're probably Rule 34 artist too, aren't you? You ruined my childhood! What would you do if you had to choose your favorite religion? That's some would you rather? No! Stop it! What would you do if Walter Wright, White, Wright? Walter White suddenly stopped by and asked you to get in his car. Get in the car, tell him to fuck off. You're the one who knocks. Deny his request. I'd probably deny his request. I don't want to be involved with that, but then again, if he's already asked me to get in his car, I'm probably already involved somehow. Which, I, I, not a situation I'd want to find myself in. Okay. What would you do if everything was legal for 12 hours? I would probably steal from the rich and give to the poor. Modern day Robin Hood. And is legal. Hmm, I mean... <laughs> Well, then again, it's also legal to kill me. So, I mean, that might not be too good. What would you do if you had to erase one skill completely? You can relearn it after. Every single language I know, social skills, using my body. Social skills, because I already don't really have those, so, I mean, it wouldn't be much of a hindrance. Yeah. Thinking. What would you do if Donald Trump won the election? Move to Canada, eat a stone, celebrate. Like, I, again, I don't want to get into the politics, but to be completely honest, I myself am a little bit scared of what the guy could be capable of. I just, I don't like a lot of the things he seems to represent. I, I hate that he promotes the ideology of racism and everything, and, and some of the mo more offensive things he says. It needs to stop, so I'd probably move to Canada, though what I would prefer to do is I would prefer to organize, participate in organization to try to make everything a better place and try to prevent as much damage and make things better. I, there I go with the grammar again. God, I'm an idiot. What would you do if you encountered an alien? Try to kill the alien? Try to reason with the alien? Why am I trying to kill it and why am I trying to reason with it? Like, it's, it's, it's just saying encountered. I'm not... You're not saying I'm being attacked. Like, if I try to kill it, that makes me the bad guy. 
unless it's trying to kill me first. What? what is, sorry, I blinked my light there. <laughs> also, you spelt reason wrong. How many other typos did I miss? Probably go with that. I'm just going to assume reason means talk. And I would love to try to communicate with an alien. In fact, I would love to beg it to take me off this planet. I mean, I love you guys, but I don't know. I want to see what's out there. <laughs> I, I'm really disappointed with the way things are starting to become here. What would you do if you got stuck in the sewers? Wait for three months until help comes. Try to swim out in all the dirty water. Lick peanut butter off a hobo's foot to be free. Why? What? I would try to avoid this for as long as I could, but eventually I would do this. Why, people? Why? No. What would you do if you woke up in opposite sex? Uh, what does that even mean? What is it? What, how? How do I wake up in opposite sex? Is that like... Is that like I'm... Maybe I'm in a relation, a sexual relationship right now, but when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm not in a sexual relationship anymore? Or maybe... Maybe maybe it's non-penetration sex. Maybe it's like butt to butt. Like you just smack your butt cheeks together. <laughs> oh, God. Don't picture that in slow motion. <laughs> Tell your friends. Take nudes of yourself or masturbate. Uh. No shame. <laughs> it's more or less just because I'm curious. I'm curious as to what it feels like for members of the opposite sex. Not because I'm necessarily dirty-minded, but because it's a, a physical sensation that I would not normally get to experience as a man. And I, I want to experience almost everything. So I do it just simply out of curiosity. What would you do if you were a psychiatrist and your patient tells you he intends to kill a woman? Uh, if, if he was like legit serious about it, I would report the threat and lose my job if he was legit serious about it. Like, I respect confidentiality and everything, but I don't think that confidentiality is worth the life of another person. I'm sorry, but like, if you, if it wasn't like a choice, say myself, for example, if I had to choose between letting somebody die or having the whole world know everything about me that I don't want anyone to know, which I have very few of those secrets, I practically have none, but if I had to make that choice, I would rather damn the rest of my existence by having everybody know every little dirty secret about me than have that person die. To me, that's the right thing. If I didn't report that and I found out he actually killed a woman, I would lose all sense of self-worth. Oh, I never closed my door behind me. Oh well, that might muck with the audio a little bit. What would you do if you got the opportunity to visit space? Have an orgasm in space, moonwalk like Michael Jackson on the moon, sing life on Mars. On Mars. <laughs> uh, I don't even know that song, so it's not that one, which leaves it between one of these two. I'm going to choose this one, but only because I don't want the entire thing to be sexual. I am very good at damning myself. What would you do if... You were able to live one of these Disney universes. Wreck-It Ralph, Big Hero 6, Zootopia. I, I have watched that movie twice this weekend, and i obsessed with it. I am obsessed with that movie. I, I would choose Zootopia all the way. All the way. Fucking amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I don't care how old you are, you need to see it. I don't care if you're an adult and you're like, hey, I'm an adult. It's a kid's movie. No, it seriously covers some serious issues that we adults here face today, too. It's as much for the adults as it is for the kids. It just doesn't really have that perverted humor, except for one sequence. And by sequence, I mean like an entire like chapter. <laughs> There's plenty of adult humor there. <laughs> what would you do if the house you are in 
was on fire. Save myself, save the poor kitten. I don't have a kitten. Save all the people, but you die. You know what? You say poor kitten. I don't have a cat, but I do have a dog. So I'm going to lump the dog in with the people since you've seemingly given me that choice. And I will sacrifice myself for my roommate and my dog. Ha ha. <clears throat> what would you do if you were given one is that a million? That's a million. Oh. Yeah, that's a million. Wait, 1,000. Yeah, that's a, that's a million. I know numbers. I'm, I'm not dumb. I'm dumb. I'm totally dumb. Uh, donate everything to charity. Use it for stock investments. <laughs> and consume. See what I would do. What I would do is I would not necessarily give everything to charity. Instead, I would give an initial portion to charity, invest most of the le what's left into stock investments, and then what I make off those stock investments, assuming I invest intelligently and get return on all of it, I would do that to continually feel donating so that I can doubt, so that in the long term, say in the span of like, 50 years, I'll be able to, to, do, to donate more money than if I just gave everything to charity right off the bat. See? Planning. And that way I can also ensure that I'm able, that, you know, all my needs are taken care of so that I can actually keep doing that. Because then I would also keep reinvesting into other things to get more and more returns, and then I would just be donating that. Because... Most of that money, too, I would not be putting it to me. I don't need a fancy house. I don't need a fancy car. I do not need a fancy lifestyle. I don't need that. I don't need the best clothes. I'm happy just having basic things. Unless it's a computer. I do want to have a nice computer. That's a different story. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't need many things. What would you do if your best friend told you that he or she was a serial killer? Tell the authorities. A friend or not, I'm not gonna stand for unnecessary things like that. What would you do if you found yourself in the same room as Bin Laden, Hitler, and a violent gorilla? Teleport to a random desert. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> Only I'd probably die there. But at least I don't have to die in the same room as all of them. And at the hands of an angry gorilla. Because I know that angry gorilla is going to win. <laughs> what would you do if everyone in the world wanted to kill you? They don't already? I don't think hiding would be any good if literally everyone in the world wanted to kill me. I wouldn't be able to fight them off. I would probably kill myself because then I have the choice of how I'm going to die. I don't have to worry about dying slowly. I don't have to worry about dying painfully. I can save myself the absolute misery because everyone wants to kill me anyways. I'm obviously not going to achieve much of anything that's a benefit to the world. Obviously not. I mean, if everybody wants to kill me, if I've got, literally got the entire world wanting to kill me, I've apparently done something to deserve death anyways. So, <laughs> kill myself. <laughs> wow. 52% of people don't realize that that's a lot of people hunting you. <laughs> what would you do if you were the president for a day? Repaint the White House, hold a nationwide speech, or nuke North Korea? No, I'm very scared to see how many people would do that. I'm very scared to see what the percentages are on here. I... Eh. I'd hold a nationwide speech. 21% of people. You realize not everyone in North Korea is bad, right? I don't agree with taking the innocent life with that. Not to mention, we're talking a nuke. Like, that has great, great impacts. No. Nuclear weapons are one of the things that should have never been made. At least not in the context for warfare. What would you do if you were constantly chased by the nearest bear? No, we already answered that. 
What would you do if you woke up as Adolf Hitler? Turn yourself in and risk your life? Finish his evil plans? Take your own life? If I woke up as Adolf Hitler, I'm pretty sure I would be Adolf Hitler, and therefore I would do what Adolf Hitler would do because I would no longer be me. That's how this works. Be realistic here. <laughs> so... I would probably attempt to finish his evil plans. That's not something I want to do. I'm just being realistic. Because I woke up as Adolf Hitler. I am no longer Michael. I am no longer Tuxedo Vale. I am Hitler. That's what I would do. Even though I, as me right now, do not agree with that. God, I'm way too realistic about this stuff. I need to learn to just loosen up and have some fun. I take everything way too seriously. <laughs> what would you do if you found a thousand dollars laying on the ground? Buy yourself a human kidney from Why? No, I would give the money to the police and receive 10%. Unless you mean I'm, fuck. Unless you were talking about me like actually, like just here, please have a donation. That's not what I would do. I would just be like, if somebody comes looking for a thousand dollars, this is theirs. And then I wouldn't take the 10% cut from the police. I would just, I would wait around maybe. It would just, well, no, there's no point in me waiting around. No, I, I turn it into the police let them know that I found it laying on the ground, and then hope that whoever lost it knows where to look for it. <laughs> what would you do if you started pissing yourself at work? Pretend to faint, find a plastic cup, piss at your stuff, and flip off your thoughts. <laughs> uh, I would probably bolt for the bathroom. Like, I, I would... I, w I would shout to so so well I don't I wouldn't be able to shout really ugh probably that <laughs> like what the fuck what would you do if no see that's that's not a would you rather question okay well you know what I've been going for a while now I need to get this edited and everything for you guys so thank you all so much for watching ladies and gentlemen. And I will see each and every one of you in the next expedition. Until then, though, take care, peace out, and ta-ta! Bye now.